Hi everyone, welcome to Green Monk TV. We are at the International SAP for Utilities event in Berlin and with me I have Khaled Dossiri, a tracking talent manager. And you're with which company? Saudi Electricity Company. Okay. Can you give me a bit of background about Saudi Electric? Saudi Electricity Company is the largest electricity company in the Middle East and North Africa. It has um, 65 gigawatt of installed capacity and run by 35,000 employees. Okay. Yeah. And the generation is primarily from what kind of sources? Actually, the main source of the energy uh, generation we have is the fuel. And we have some steam uh, power generations, but uh, we rely so much on the fuel one. And how many customers? Uh, we have uh, now 7.5 million customers. All of them, they are uh, in Saudi Arabia. Okay, fantastic. And so, uh, what kind of challenges are, are you facing at the moment as an uh, electricity company in Saudi Arabia, and how is technology help, helping you overcome some of those? Okay, uh, the main challenge we have that the, the demand of the power will raise up by 37% in the coming five years, which will raise up our uh, competition in the market. Uh, we have to attract more talent, we have to attract uh, more investors with us, we will invest not less than um, two, 200 billion uh, dollars in the sector. So the competition with the coming companies in the market, uh, that's why we want to be an international utility to face those competitions in a very professional way. Okay. And you've rolled out some uh, projects recently um, around billing and uh, around um, a, a cloud uh, project as well, I understand. Yeah, actually, um, we went through the e-invoice with the SAP products and with the cloud-based solutions from uh, SuccessFactors uh, to run our uh, talent management uh, on the cloud and was... Uh, I would consider this a very new practice on us and uh, SEC is the first company in Saudi Arabia that implement the whole, the full enterprise of uh, success factors. Okay. And uh, utilities generally are typically a little bit conservative and moving to cloud has to be uh, a bit innovative. Um, what was the thinking behind that decision and how is it working out for you? Actually, the thinking behind it that we wanted an integrated solution that could run our uh, talents based on their competences. And when we were searching in the market, we found that the whole market is going for cloud. As I heard that in 2020, SAP is going to stop supporting the uh, on-premise uh, products. So we said, let's not re-innovate the wheel and let's go for uh, uh, the cloud. Let's have the highest return of investment. Let's low the need of uh, uh, technicians on the ground, on the hardware, on, and let's have the power within HR to maintain their systems without the need of uh, raising up so many tickets to the IT. Yeah. Sure, sure. And how is it working out? We finished phase one. Uh, it's under implementation and in, in go live since uh, two months, I guess. Uh, until now, I cannot uh, evaluate the, the quality of uh, the product after go live unless we make this assessment after three to six months. We're going to assess everything, but uh, we are so optimistic that we did a great job in the nine months and we tested so many, so many times. And I, I believe that it will be a great uh, successful story. Okay, and you mentioned an e-invoicing uh, project as well? Yeah. Uh, our uh, colleagues in, uh, in the IT, they would like to make it even easier and easier for our employees and also for our vendors. So uh, we implemented the invoice from SAP. So now uh, we have a workflow for that invoices and will be paid in their accounts by e-billing. And everything is automated now for our vendors. And we have so many vendors in the company um, among uh, kingdom wise. And uh, we try our best in the company to get out of paperwork. Mm. Yeah. Okay, very good. Any future projects lined up? Now, so many uh, future projects are coming, especially after s we started the accelerated uh, strategic transformation program that brought for us so many opportunities to invest in, which means we have so many projects in 
supply chain and finance and uh, uh, shared services and HR. So massive projects are coming in the, um, I would say in three to five years, we will have so many projects, IT related and non-IT related projects. Sure, sure. Yeah. Great. Khalid, that's been fantastic. Thanks a million for talking to us today. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity to show uh, about SEC.